So as you see here, we have here a big schematic that we will study and analyze. So let's begin with this. So this is, as you see, this is the DC connection. As you see, we have DC connector. Okay, we have the, the G12. Okay, and of course, this DC connector has two parts. This part is connected to the ground and this is the hot part okay the power is passed through this wire okay here we have the diode as you see you have d1 diode here we have a capacitor so this is an electronic capacitor or a polarized capacitor so this black line is connected to the ground and of course here we have plus okay so this is all these dots means connection we have here connection okay so this line is goes directly to this connection as you see over here okay so here we have another polarized capacitor as you see we have c15 with 22 microfarads okay so here we have the vn okay the voltage in the input voltage is from here and also we have here this part of the minus or the negative part of the capacitor is connected to the ground okay so here we have an ic as you see ic3 this is the reference for this ic mp2307 or 07 okay so we have a resistor here so this resistor is connected to this to this ic so this resistor is connected to the pin number two and pin number seven of the IC. Okay, and also connected to this point and to this diode. So this resistor is connected to this diode. Why? Because we have here connection and through this wire. Okay, we have here another resistor as you see here, and we have here another capacitor. So this is the R4 resistor with 6.8 K means kilo ohm. And we have here another capacitor. This is C17 capacitor. This is 3.9 nanofarad. Okay, the capacity of this capacitor. So this capacitor is not like this. This is a normal capacitor. This is a PF capacitor. Okay, PF capacitor. We have here another PF capacitor, as you see, C16. Here we have C17. Okay, so always this is connected to the ground. We have here the analog ground. All the grounds in this schematic are analog ground. Okay, so we have PF capacitor. This is just an. This is the ground. This is just a wire or a line that connected directly to the ground. As you see we have here ground okay so this is some signal we have in in means the input voltage is in this pin in pin number two okay in so we have here enable okay and compensation we have s s we have g and d means ground okay and we have other signals here so here we have another capacitor this is a pf capacitor that is connected directly as you see this capacitor is connected to this diode okay as you see and also connected to this coil why because we have here a dot but this capacitor is not connected to this resistor because we have we don't have here the dot like this we have just the intersection means unconnected wires okay so this diode the anode of this diode is connected to the ground so this diode is in this position because it block the current to go to the ground okay so this is this diode uses as a protection okay as a protection when there is a problem here in the current over here this diode will be damaged and then the current will pass through this to the ground and then 
the other component in this schematic or in this motherboard will be protected okay so here we have as you see coil or a filter as you see we have here l1 okay here we have a diode d3 okay and here we have capacitor and ground so this diode is connected to this capacitor of course as you see with the same wire okay here we have another capacitor resistor another resistor we have here r6 we have here r5 with 10k 10 kilo ohm here we have 44.2 kilo ohm okay so let's go and see what we have also here so we have here dot means this diode and this capacity and also this capacitor and this resistor and all those are connected or are connected to this point here we have here five volt so this means that this ic generate five volts here so generate a voltage here that pass through all this component and goes to this point in this connector we have here five volts okay so here we have another IC, as you see, IC2, okay? Here we have switch, okay? As you see, this is a switch, okay? Here, this is a fuse. This is a symbol of a fuse, okay? So this is a fuse, okay? Fuse 1 with 500 milliamps, okay? So when the current is more than 500, it will blow out, it will be damaged, okay? As you see, we have here VCC, okay? Here we have capacitor and here we have LED. As you see, LED means a light emitting diode. You see, we have here two rows. This is the symbol of LED, okay? Here we have another resistor, R7, 1K, okay? As you see here, we have 3.3 volts. is generated here, okay? So this is a connector. We have here the VCC, the reset, okay? And we have a 3.3 volt comes from here in the switch. We have five volts, okay? This IC generate five volts, as you see, through this pin, through this resistor and all this compound and directly to this connector. Here we have ground, as you see. So we have two grounds. As you see here, we have here a dot means this is two grounds connected together. You see, here we have the VN. So let's go and see. We have here VN. So let's go and see uh, exactly. We have VN. So we have VN pass through this wire because we have here dot. So VN goes directly to here. You see? Okay. So we have here in this part two ICs as you see we have IC4 and IC5 okay so the same IC but with a different reference okay as you see this is 80 mega 16 U2 and here we have 80 mega 32 8P okay so as you see here we have a connector this is a USB connector as you see here USB okay and this is the pins of this connector as you see we have the voltage here and we have the ground in the last pins and we have the D minus the, the D plus and the ID okay the identification pin okay so we have here a diode okay we have resistor over here this is PF capacitor connected to the ground and then connected to this pin and this pin as you see we have two dots means these two pins are connected together to the ground we have here other PF capacitors as you see over here okay all these capacitors are connected to the analog ground okay as you see here so we have VCC and the pin number four we have other resistor here with 10k okay so here we have resistor, we have this is crystal oscillator, okay? So the symbol is for the quartz or the crystal, 
as you see we have here crystal with 16 megahertz the frequency of this crystal is 16 megahertz and we have next of to this crystal 2 pf capacitor okay here we have LED diode you see light emitting diode okay with two resistor as you see R12 and R13 with 1k for H okay 1 kilo ohm so here we have our capacitor so this is PF capacitor and this is a polarized capacitor okay so here we have resistor okay here this is a switch this is a push button as you see switch okay here all these pins are connected to the ground okay so when we press the switch as you see here this vcc will go to the ground okay so this is a push button okay it seems that this button is for the it's a power button okay so here we have the vcc as you see and this is mini point over here so the same principle this ic also have a crystal oscillator as you see with the same frequency 16 megahertz and we have two capacitors the same as here okay so this is all about this schematic so in this schematic we have just some diodes capacitors resistor as you see we have coil here okay this is a filter have some switches okay we have led as you see over here and crystal oscillators okay and of course we have here some connectors okay